What's up guys, it's OG Pokemon here. I'm back after a long hiatus. I think it's been about three, four months or so. But yeah, so um, I'm back. I'm ready to make more YouTube videos, um, more Pokemon content for you guys. I'm sorry for the wait if you guys were wondering where I was. It was a lot of work and irregularity in my schedule. One day I'll work from 4 a.m. to 12.30 and other days I'll work from 4 p.m. to 12.30. So. The schedule was a mess, so I think um, because my work schedule not being as consistent as I wanted it wanted it to be, um, it was hard for me to maintain a consistent schedule in uploading. But as you can see from the title of the video, this video is actually about the Ultra Prism pre-release that I recently went to this past Sunday, and um, yeah, it's just to recap the event. Um, you guys will see the cards that I pulled within the Evolution Packs and also the four Booster Packs. And then afterwards, I'll do a quick recap of the booster, the three booster packs that I got after, and also the deck um, that I ran. So enjoy that, and I'll see you guys at the end when I recap my deck and the pulls that I got. So, see you later. Alright, what's up guys? I'm here at a pre-release for the Ultra Prism set. Um, there's a decent amount of people here. So a lot of people. Here's a guy in charge of it right there. His name is David, but we're about to get our boxes and let's see which promo card and what cards we can get. Alright, so we're gonna open it right now. Here's the box. Um, I actually really like the set logo. Um, the side, the back, if you guys wanna read that. Sorry that, sorry that the camera's up so close. I just couldn't really find a good angle for it, but let's just open it up right now. Is it hard to open or is it just me? Okay. <laughs> Hoping to pull the Lucario or the Gumshoe, so let's see. I think it's the Heatran. Okay, so we have the Heatran, we'll open that up later. I think a lot of people got Lucario around me, so that's great. Here's a little pamphlet that it comes with. Oh, I got gum shoes. What is that? And just basic purely sips um, for a purely format. Have my pack or my sleeves and my dice ready, so let's just open up the packs. to the front. We have a Psychic Energy, a Throttle, a Skateboard, it can, can focus, a Lone Duck Trio, Murkrow, Eevee, no way! <laughs> Seeker Rare! <laughs> Peaking Red Card, wow. First pack? Yeah. Awesome, that's insane. Alolan Vulpix, Stunky, Young Goose, Carnivine, and a Type Null. So not bad for the first pack. Snover, Hippopotas, Shinx, Dewpider, Gibble, Drampa, a Toxic Croak, Leaf Energy, Volkner, Craniados, uh, Lonely Duck Trio, and a Co Card. So 0 for 2 for 2 packs. We have a. I'm not going to do card trick to spoil the co card, but Young Goose, Alolan Diglett, Sneasel, Magnemite, Cherubi, Gumshoes Reverse, Abominable Snow Rare, Electric Energy, Gumshoes again, Luxio, Looker, and a co card. Let's hope for something in this last pack right here. We have a Krogunk, Eevee, Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Diglett, Shinx, Alolan Executor, Full Art Cynthia? Full Art Cynthia, no way! Full Art Cynthia, I cannot believe I pulled that. A Steel Energy, Low Pony, Manaphy, and a regular Cynthia as well. So I think that's a great way to end. We will start building the decks now. Thank you. So yeah, I'll do a quick recap at the very end of the event, so um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Right, so I actually forgot to open my evolution packs. Let's see what we got. So we have the Heatran. Uh, oh, so we actually have the Garchomp line, the Gabite and the Gibble. 
Riolu, Cynthia again, Hal, Nest Ball, Spiritomb, Magnezone, Magneton, Magnemite. We have a Looker, Sophocles, Great Ball, Timer Ball, and another Heatran. What do you got? Oh, nice! You actually got it. So now I will make my deck and I'll do a quick recap at the very, very end. Alright, so see you guys in a bit. So that was the event and my record was 2 and 1. We played 3 rounds. And before the format was best of 3, so basically just 2 out of 3 wins. But because it took so long, especially for I guess the older sets, especially Sun and Moon and um, Guardians Rising, I think that kind of took up too much time so we just went for the best of 1. But funny story, so one of my wins, I had a Alolan Diglett. It has a free attack where it does 10 damage for every heads you roll. And then you basically just keep rolling up until you get a tails. So I set up my mag or I set up my Alolan Diglett and I forgot what my bench Pokemon was, but my opponent had a Magnemite and it has 60 HP. So he went first, he said uh, he just drew passion energy, that was it. My turn, I used the attack, and believe it or not, I rolled six heads. Or I was using dice, so I just rolled six evens in a row, knocked them out. I felt really bad for the guy because, um, yeah, because he's he actually had the cards to set up his bench and everything, but I guess for some reason he just chose not to or forgot. I don't know what the deal was, but that match was over within a minute. So we just played another game afterwards just for fun, but yeah, so that was definitely a super lucky win the other win was it was pretty even but um i think it's just i had a slight advantage because i got my garchomp set up which i'll show you right now so let me just show you the deck that i um was using and also let me just give you a detailed look at the box itself so the cover has so i made a mistake when i was um saying the names of um the pokemon but this is actually um dust main and the back, as you can see, that's what you get inside of it. Nothing special on the top or bottom. Here we have Duskman again. Pre-release. Right there. Top says Pokemon, nothing on the bottom. So let's just get into the deck real quick. So here's the deck that I ran. So it was basically a Garchomp deck with um, Cynthia's. And fortunately, um, which I'll show you later, I pulled another Cynthia but um, I had to proxy it and you'll see why. But the proxy was just like an energy, was a, the proxy was basically a lightning energy with Cynthia written on it. But if you see Garchomp's attack, if I can find it here, um, Royal Blades. If you played Cynthia from your hand during this turn, this attack, this attack does 100 more damage. So basically you're hitting for 200. If you use the supporter Cynthia, which um, shuffles your hand into your deck and then you draw six cards. So yeah, I was fortunate enough to get um, two more from my booster packs and one was given to me as you saw in the evolution deck. So yeah, I basically ran a 3-2-2 line of um, Garchomp. One Spirit Tomb, um, mostly for the Lightless World to get my Cynthia's back, but I never got a chance to actually use the attack. Um, this is the MVP of that one game that I was talking about, the Iron Head attack. And yeah, so uh, I just use or put in basic, um, I guess, normal types just so that I can, you know, soak up damage and just use free attacks. Well, not free attacks, but um, not worry about, you know, the types of energies that I had to use. I also had a Drampa, a Type Null. And yeah, it was just basically a basic deck. Um, it wasn't anything too special. But that was my deck, and let me show you the pools that I got afterwards. So everyone who attended was guaranteed 3 booster packs, and if you won all 3 of your games, if you went 3-0, and you received the extra pack. But out of the 3 packs, I received this Ultra Prism, or Prism card, I believe, the Dark Rider Prism. And I was actually very surprised that I pulled this because um, everyone around me was just getting nothing, but then I was very fortunate to get this. And also, just to recap, I did pull a Full Art Cynthia. And I was looking at the value of this card. Um, obviously, eBay isn't a fair representation of the card, card's price. 
but I've been seeing listings for $90, $100, $60, $70, it's kind of all over the place, so I'm sure once the set actually releases, um, the, price will, the prices will kind of stabilize, and then there'll be final, there'll be like a, um, a set price on it. Also, my uh, pre-release guy, my professor, he was handing out uh, Registeel Lee promos, so very cool. So these are the main, I guess, the highlights, and also the promo heat trend that I got. So yeah, this is it. Um, I was hoping to go to another Ultra Prism pre-release event this upcoming Sunday, but um, unfortunately I'll I'll be busy that day. So um, I think one is enough for now. If anything, I'll contact my um, my lead director, professor, guy, whoever, and ask if there's any leftover pre-release boxes so, so that I can just open them, open one up on the channel for you guys. But yeah, um, I guess for those who haven't unsubscribed to me, um, I really do appreciate it. So as a sign of thanks, let me just give you guys two code cards. So this is for the Ultra Prism set. So here is one of them. And here is the other. So yeah, thank you so much. Um, please let me know what you get, if you get anything good once the code becomes available. But yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I'm, I guess, despite not uploading, I still do, um, really do appreciate the people that just stay subscribed. Because I know some people kind of like, unsubscribe to their, um, to the people's channels that they become very inactive. But um, I do appreciate all the subscribers, everyone who has been commenting and supporting in my previous videos. Uh, more videos will be up very soon, so stay tuned. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.